a few simple but powerful concepts can really make you fabulously wealthy. But you've got to start. It can't just stay an idea. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to start. I don't care if you start with $500. You got to start, traders. You can't just watch YouTube videos or watch live sessions with me and say, wow, that was great, and go on to, with your regular life the next day or the next hour. You got to start, man. You got to start putting something in on the line, putting something in. And I'll help you do that. I'm telling you, I will help you do that. Now, guys, what do we need? for wealth trading. Let's get our tools together. You, We always have to start. What are the things needed? All right. So we need four things. We need a monthly chart. Now, this is the time frame that I use for wealth trading on intraday trading, short term or into trading. I trade with a two minute time frame, two minute chart, five minute chart. Those are the two time frames for short term income trading. All right. Small little slices of the market. But when you go to wealth, you need a big slice of the market, a monthly slice. I need a chart where every bar represents one full month of trading. Do you understand? So we need a monthly chart. I want every bar to be the picture of one month of trading. We want to put a 20 period simple moving average on that monthly chart. We're going to put a 50 period simple moving average on that chart, and we're going to put a 200 period moving average on that chart. Now, I'm not a huge relier on a ton of indicators, but moving averages, in my opinion, are amongst the most superior indicators you can use. So price and moving averages, as far as I'm concerned, that's all you need. And trust me, guys, over the last 38 years of trading, 33 of those years, almost 34 of those years professionally, I've experimented with virtually every single moving average you can possibly think of and every single technical indicator that exists in this world today. And I can tell you after this many, many years of experimentation, moving averages are far more, are, are by far the most superior of all and the simple version of moving averages. I found no evidence that the sexier varieties of moving averages like the, the weighted moving average, the triangular moving average, the exponential moving average, none of those have demonstrated any greater superiority than simple. So I, for one, am a supporter that when you can keep it as simple as possible, please do. There is power in simplicity. Now, here is a monthly chart of the NASDAQ, okay? Listen, every bar represents one full month of trading with the exception of the current monthly bar. So we are in August 22nd. This bar is not complete, has not completed its month yet, but every previous, previous bar is a full month of trading. Now, of course, your green bars represent when the month started, when the month started here, but and the month ended above the starting price of the month. So on the first trading day of the month, if the la let, let's put it this way, if the last trading day of the month is higher than the first trading day of the month, you're gonna have a green monthly bar. If the last trading day of the month is lower than the first trading day of the month, you're going to have a red bar. So green bar, the last trading day of the month is higher than the first trading day of the month, green bar. Red bar, once again, the final trading day of the month is lower than the first trading day of the month, you've got a red bar. Now, one of the things that you can instantly do once you bring up a monthly chart is you can determine which side of the market is in control of the market. 
Is it the buyers in control or the sellers in control? You need to understand that all the market really is, is a tug of war between two sides. It's a sporting game, if you will, between two teams. One team's called buyers or bulls. The other team is called sellers or bears. Now, here's what you can do. One of the things is, which color is the dominant color? Are there more green bars than there are red bars? Now, you can look over the recent history over the last eight years or so. This is like about eight years, okay? And you can clearly see that there are far more green bars than red bars, which basically is telling you right off the bat that buyers are in control of the market, that buyers are stronger than sellers, that bulls are more dominant than bears. In addition to that, in addition to just a simple bar count, more green bars than red bars, which bars, which team produces the fattest bars on average? Now look, here's a bunch of little tiny bars, right? But when you see a big bar, here's a big, big red bar too. Here's a sizable fat green bar. Here's a decent fat green bar. Here's a fat bar. Here's a fat bar. Here's a fat bar. Fat bar, fatty, fat bar, fat bar. You know, so now we do have periods of fat reds. And we've got periods of fat greens. But which periods are more enduring than the other? So when I get a series of fat reds, is it short-lived as compared to the series of fat green? Do I get a longer run of green bars on average than I do red bars, one bar, three bars, two red bars, one red bar, 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 two red bars, two red bars, two red bars. Now look at the greens. Let's look at your set of greens. All right. Let's erase this. Let's look at your set of greens now. Okay. Greens in a row. One, two, three, four, five greens in a row. One, two, three, four greens in a row. One, two, three, four, five greens in a row. Look at this run with small interrupts of red. So it is very clear right from just the monthly chart, buyers are in control of the stock. You should be betting most of the time on the buy side, not the sell side. You see, we don't usually bet with the underdog. We bet with the dominant force. That's the easiest way to make money at this game. All right, so that's the monthly chart. Now, what we want to do, right? We want to put a 20 period simple moving average of that monthly chart on the chart. So here's a 20 period moving average now. Now I want you to note that the 20 period moving average is rising. This is very important because the easiest way to make money is to wait for whatever you want to buy to have a rising 20 period moving average. And then simple, you want to buy somewhere near the 20 period moving average. 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 Near, near. But the last thing you want to do is buy away from the 20 period moving average. The last thing you want to do is buy away from the 20 period moving average. Do you understand? Away, no. Near, yes. So here's what we do. And I'll cover more. This is, I'm going to cover this in greater detail. This is just the building the general foundation for you. We come in near the 20. It can be a little bit below. A little bit below is near it too. Don't let that fool you. So you're either near it, a little bit above it, on it, 
or below it. Look, near it, above it, near on it, near it, below it. That's your zone of near. So don't think that this is breaking it so much. It's still near the moving average, all right? Boom. Oh. I like to regard my moving averages more like zones. So if we built the zone around this moving average, look, let's put that up, um, I'm drawing terribly, but let's put that upper portion and let's put that bottom portion. You see? Now, this is my moving average zone, you see? Don't look at the moving average like a little tiny skinny line. It's a zone. It's a fence that you can lean on. It's a rubber band. It's like the ropes of a boxing match where the boxers can lean against the ropes, boing, lean against the ropes, boing, but not break the ropes. Okay? So don't get fooled by these little leans against the ropes. That's leaning against the ropes. That's not breaking. So we want to come in to the market near, it has to be rising, near the rising 20, near the rising 20, near the rising 20. And look how perfectly you would have bought. You want to start reducing your play away from the moving average, away from the moving average, away from the moving average. So you reduce and add. You reduce and add. You reduce and add. Do you understand this so far? Are you are you picking up what I'm laying down? Are you following this? Let me know. I want to see your comments. Are you following me? All right? Rising 20. Find something of value, find a Facebook, find a Microsoft, find a Nike, find a Disney, find a Coca-Cola, find something you know that you know is super powerful. Wait for that 20 period moving average to be rising. And then we play the directional game. Do you understand? We play the directional game. You want to play with the 20 period moving average and you want to come in near the 20 and get out away from the 20. We come back near the 20 and get away out away from the 20. And my God, just that simple approach. You can build a freaking fortune. Now, you can't go out and buy Joe Schmo's Pizza Shop on 42nd Street. No, I'm talking powerful, very rich companies. Tesla, Microsoft, do you understand? Apple, do you understand? You buy powerful you buy wealthy companies, you buy powerful companies, you buy innovative companies, you buy companies that you know, this company is gonna be here long after I die. You don't take a gamble with your family's money on Joe Schmo's pizza shop. Well, the guy told me that uh, he's gonna grow this little pizza shop into you know, 2,000 pizza shops, and I'm going to invest. All right, you want to throw some throwaway money into something like that? Because that's your friend, fine. But when it comes to building real generational wealth, guys, we stick with the wealthy, dominant companies. Do you understand? And it makes the game simpler. It makes the game more secure. It makes the game more certain. Now, all we need is a method, which I'm teaching you. You don't have to guess what to buy. Now, you have a list of what to buy. Now, wait for rising 20 period moving averages on that monthly chart. Now, go to work. Buy in near the 20, reduce away from the 20. I'm going to, this is all general right now. I'm going to drill this down into specifics for you. 
Okay. Beautiful. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Now we're going to take the 50 period moving average and overlay it. I showed you what to do with the 20, but now I'm going to deepen the game for you. I'm going to make this more special than just the 20. We're going to add the 50 period moving average and we're going to create with the 50 period moving average this zone between the two. Oh my God. Now that's that juicy buy zone, guys. Oh my God. When you're a stock, when you're a wealthy, super rich, super powerful company stock drops between a rising 20 and a rising 50, you should begin to salivate. You should be so giddy, so happy, so anxious that you're going to burst out of your own skin. Now, once that happens, I want you to play the color game, which I will talk about in greater detail in just a bit. What's the color game? Buy whenever green, once you have slipped under between the 20 and the, and the 50, that's the zone, right? You buy as soon as green trades above red. Boom! You see how this green trades above red? Boom! Now look, we slip between a rising 20 and a rising 50. When does green slip back above? Boom! And you can do that near the 22. Look at, look at red. Look at we slip back between, this is during the coronavirus collapse, between the 20 and 50. Boom! Let me do that sound again. Let me do it with another different color. Wait a minute. Let's try it with another color. One more color. I just like doing that sound. Away! Time to take some off the table. Reduce. This game is all about knowing when to beef up, when to add, and then when to reduce. When to add to your well plays and when to reduce. When to add with to your well plays and when to reduce. And with the 20 period moving average and the 50 period moving average, We've got a simple but extraordinarily powerful approach to playing the richest companies on the planet. Powerful! Now, let's keep going. I'm just still laying the foundation. We haven't even gotten into the detail yet. All right? Okay. We're going to add the 200 period moving average on the chart, right? So we're going to have three moving averages on our charts. Now, here's the thing, guys. Our most ideal buy range is between the rising 20 and the rising 50. There are going to be times when your stock collapses back. Falls between, but actually breaks the 50. When your stock breaks the 50, your play is near the 200. You go to the next long-term moving average to play. There's a high percentage of of the time that once you severely break the 50, you're going to go all the way to the around the 200. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. So we're going to play off of these three key moving averages. Sometimes you're going to play off the 20. Boom! Green takes out red right there. Boom! Green takes out red right there. Boom! Green takes out red right there. Boom! All right. But sometimes 
you're going to be playing that way down here. Boom! Off the 200. Okay? So we're going to play off of these three. So sometimes you're going to play off the 20. Let's do this a different color. Look at this. Sometimes you're going to play off the 20. Sometimes you're going to play in between the 20 and 50. And sometimes you're going to play off the 200. These are our most ideal buy-in locations. But remember, your company has to be super rich, super wealthy, super dominant. We want to play things that have enough money. We want to play companies that have enough money that they can buy the solution to any problem that they ever experience. Do you understand? That there's no sitting around like we don't have enough money to do that. Recognizable names. Joe Schmo's Pizza Shop on the corner? No. Quality. All right. All right, the color game, you know this. We're going to hear the color game rules, traders. We're going to trade with 20 period moving average. So the 20 is rising. We're going to buy. Remember, you come in, buy. Boom. Or if it slips back between your two moving averages, boom. Right? So you're going to trade with that 20 should be rising. We're going to buy the color transfer. Green takes out red near the 20. We're going to do the color transfer. Green takes out red between the 20 and 50. All right. So let's do it like this. 20, 50. So you're going to Buy the color near, near, boom, the 20, right there. Or between the 20 and 50, right there. Or near the 200. These are our spots. You as a market player must define your locations like as if guys, let me do this. I need to, I need to, I need to look you in your faces. Let me look you in your faces. You have to play the market the same way you would play the real estate market. You've got to play financial markets the same way you would play the real estate market. So what's the most important thing in the real estate market? Well, there are three important things in the real estate market. Number one, location. Location determines value in the real estate market. You can have the best beautiful house in the ghetto and it just won't seek out a good value. Location is wrong. Right. So first thing, first key to making money in real estate, location. Second key, location two. Location. Third thing, location. Location, location, location. Nothing else matters in the real estate industry. Nothing. More than location, location, location. All right. Now let's take that concept to the market, to the financial markets, right? What's the key to doing this properly? Location, location, location. I just gave you your three locations. What are those three locations? at or near the 20 period moving average location, in between the 20 or 50 period moving average location two, at or near the 200 period moving average location three, location, location, location. 
Whoo! That's the game. That's the game, traders. Here's to you. Love it. I love it. I love enlightening you. I love the challenge of taking what has historically been a very complex topic that it, that's kept people away from this for so many years. Big mistake. But I love the challenge of taking what has historically been a complex thing and breaking it down so that my Brock, my 11-year-old Brock, can understand this. It's not rocket science, traders. This is not rocket science. In a way, the industry wants you to think it's rocket science because they want to sell you stuff. But it's not rocket science. A few simple but powerful concepts can really make you fabulously wealthy. But you've got to start. It can't just stay an idea. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to start. I don't care if you start with $500. You got to start, traders. You can't just watch YouTube videos or watch live sessions with me and say, wow, that was great, and go on to, with your regular life the next day or the next hour. You got to start, man. You got to start putting something in on the line, putting something in. And I'll help you do that. I'm telling you, I will help you do that. 